fig trees are one of the simplest plants to propagate from cuttings. And it's great because they are one of the few fruit trees that don't actually need to be grafted onto any certain rootstock in order to do well in your garden. In fact, they're so simple to propagate that I almost never prune our fig trees without at least taking a few of the cuttings and propagating them into new trees. So today, I wanna to show you how I take these cuttings from our tiger stripe fig tree and propagate them into new fig trees so you can do the same in your garden. I'll start by getting my cuttings. And as I said, this is the time of year when I prune our fig trees. So I'm not taking cuttings in a specific way just to get those cuttings. I'm taking the cuttings by making cuts where I want to prune my fig tree and then I'll just use those leftover cuttings to propagate into new trees. So really I'm just aiming for an outward facing bud, a few buds out from that main stem. That's where I like to prune my fig tree at least to keep it at the size that it is right now. All right, I've got a whole bunch of cuttings here. Let's go turn these sticks into trees. First, I'll add a thin layer of mulch to the bottom of this plastic bin. Then I'll fill it with these four inch seedling pots, but you can also use plastic cups, paper cups, or any similar container, as long as there's drainage. Then I'll fill them with potting mix. I like this organic cactus and succulent blend from EB Stone, but any well-drained potting mix will do. I'll wet it down and tap a hole in each pot so I don't wipe off the rooting hormone when I stick the cuttings. I'm using a liquid rooting hormone, which is optional, and I don't always use it, but I always get the best results when I do. I'll snip each cutting close to a leaf node because that's where it's most likely to root. Then I'll make a few short cuts into the bark right at the base of this cutting, just into the cambium layer, and that'll help with rooting. I'll dip that end into the rooting hormone and then stick it in the pot. All right, only 23 more to go. Once all the cuttings are in place, I'll tighten up the soil around them, add another layer of mulch, and water it all in. For the next four to six weeks, I'll keep these on a heat mat in my garage, and I'll wet them down about once a week, or as often as they need, in order to not dry out. A heat mat is not essential, but I've found that it helps. All right, it's been a few weeks. Let's see how these things are doing. Wow, look at that. These things are already rooting up really well. So this is on the bottom. I don't have any lights down here at all. I just have a heat pad. Let's check one of these out. These are about five weeks along. Oh yeah, look at all those roots. That is a baby tiger stripe fig tree. Just started from a branch cut from another tree. Put in a little bit of rooting hormone into this mixture and this thing's gonna be actually ready to plant pretty soon. I am excited for these. All right, here they are. It's been a couple of months and those sticks have turned into trees. And what's most exciting about it is every single one of these has rooted. Now, at first glance, it looks like some of them maybe didn't because they're not leafing out like most of them are. But I can see that the top part of the stem has died back. But below that, if I just scrape the bark, I can see that it still has some green underneath. And furthermore, if I take it out of the pot here, you can see all these roots. But what's even more exciting to me than 100% rooting on all of these cuttings is that when I started these, I only had so many containers here, but I had a lot of extra cuttings. So what I did was I put them in this bucket with some bark and some potting soil and just kind of left them in this bucket. Didn't do much to them. I put them in the garage. They weren't on heat or anything like that, but check this out. I have got roots from almost all of these. Look at those roots. So I've got an entire bucket full of more fig trees that just need to be potted up. So we can take a look at the roots of these cuttings. I'll just tap the bottom, get it out of there, and look at all those beautiful new roots. This thing's looking great. It's not root bound yet, but what I'm doing today is I'm transplanting all of these into larger one gallon pots, and I'll also 
pot up all of these cuttings. So at this point, I could definitely plant this right into the soil, but I'm not ready to plant any fig trees in my garden right now. So I just wanna up pot them into larger pots because also most of these are gonna be going to our farm stand. So I want people to be taking home a more mature plant. I figured some of the cuttings in this bucket would root. That's why I put them in there. But I went through and counted 20 cuttings and only two of the 20 didn't root. So I got nice roots from 18 out of those 20 cuttings. And that was way more than I expected. Well, my plan was just to show you this one method of propagating fig cuttings because it's worked so well for me and it's pretty simple. Once again, simple, very effective, 100% rooting on all of these. But I also was able to show you another method that's even more simple and pretty darn effective. I got 18 out of 20 of these to root. So whether you're choosing this option or this option or a little bit of both like I did, I hope you have success propagating your fig cuttings. If you have any questions about this process or anything else, leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see other videos like this, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. <music>